welcome back to Spoto Channel. I'm Christy, and I'm the host of Spoto Tech Talk. Recently, we have launched Spoto Tech Talk to share about the latest news on、uh, network news and network exam、uh, trends and network exam tips and network career. I really appreciate if you can subscribe our channel and give me a thumbs to this video, which allow my video reach out more people just like you. So IT professional can get several types of certification over the course of a、uh, of their career, such as a Cisco certified network associate CCNA lesson and a Cisco certified network professional CCNP lesson. If you want to get a hand of your IT career, you might be interested in knowing what the difference between the CCNA and the CCNP certification. In today's video, I will explain what each of these certificates. Is point out the difference between CCM. A and CCMP certification, and the list some jobs you could get after finishing CCNA、uh, or CCMP programs. We provide hundreds of practice questions for both CCNA and CCMP exam to help you、uh, help user easily pass their goal on the first、uh, try. Okay, so check the link below to take the practice test now. Okay, so let's start with CCNA、uh, certificate. CCNA is an entry level information technology certification given by Cisco, a networking hardware company. The CCNA is meant to verify your understanding of core networking principles that are frequently required in networking roles in IT. One of the most、uh, in-demand IT certificate is Cisco Certified Network Associate. Our Cisco CCNA exam is divided into two sections. Sections that exam examining、uh, network basic and skills such as LAN switching, IP routing technologies, WAN、uh, protocols, and configuration、uh, regularities that are required in a big enterprise employing Cisco、uh, equipment. The、uh, CCNA certification is for IT professional who want to. Who want to enhance their careers as network technicians or engineers by、uh, learning skills that may be applied to a wide range of network equipment? You can get our CCNA practice test question to、uh, ev evaluate your knowledge level and familiarize yourself with the test format on the description section next. Next is our Cisco Certified Network Professional (CCMP). CCMP helps IT professional build on their fundamental skills they learned during the CCMA. This certification provides fuller education and training on topics such as local area networks, wild areas networks, and remote access. What's the difference between CCMA and CCMP? IT professional can move up in their career by getting CCNA and CCMP certification, but each of these certification has different education requirements, different training materials, and different job opportunities. Here are some few key ways they are different. Okay, so number one is prerequisite. The CCNA program and the CCMP program are both about networking, but they have different requirements you must meet、uh, before you can join. So, depending on the specialty you choose, you may need to first get a Cisco Certified Entry Networking Technician、uh, certificate before you can sign up for CCNA certification program. Before you can join some CCNA specialty, you don't need to have a CCNT certification. In this case, having a strong understanding of IT and a desire to keep learning may be enough. Since the CCMP program is more advanced, IT professional must first get the CCNA certificate that matches the specialty they want to study for CCMP. To get into、uh, CCMP programs,、uh, you may also need a high school diploma or、uh, GED. So, might want to、uh, look into requirements for your ideal program. Number two, training and skills. IT professional can. Get training in both CCNA and CCMP programs. 
but the training in each one is different. If you sign up for CCNA program, you can learn how to set up, configure, and run and run routine and switching networking. Uh, let us small to uh, media in, in size. You might also learn how to fix problems and get rid of threats to provide security. Lastly, a CCNA program can teach you uh, can teach you how to connect to sites they are far away. So if you sign up for CCNP program, you can build on the skills you learned it as a CCNA. You might learn how to install troubleshoot and set up uh, network in your CCNP program. You might also learn how to run the core of network, which is made up of routers and the switches. Uh, lastly, a CCMP program can teach you how to take care of applications at the network age. So where voice, wireless, and security all come together. Number three, educational requirements. The number of exams that IT professional must pass before getting their certification is another difference between the CCNA program and the CCMP program. For most CCNA programs, all you have to do to get your certification is pass one exam. Since the CCMP is more advanced certification than CCNA, so it requires more tests. Depending on what you want to specialize in, you may need to pass three or four tests to get your CCMP certification. Number four, salary. Since CCMP programs and CCNA programs require different levels of education, and training, right? So IT professionals with each of these certification usually make difference amounts of money. So IT professionals who have the CCMP certification trends tend to make more than IT professionals who only have the CCNA certification. But IT uh, professional pay uh, can also change based on their work experience, the size of their employers, and where they live. For example, an IT worker uh, with a CCNA and 10 years of experience who works for a big company may make more than a CCNP who is just starting out and work for uh, in a small company. So you can get our CCNA and CCNP practice test question to uh, evaluate your knowledge level and familiarize yourself with the test format on the describe section. Okay, so that's all. Thank you so much for your time in watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and share our video to your friends. If you need help, you can reach me on the WhatsApp via the link on our describe section. See you next time. Bye.